An analytical chemist weighs out 0.080 grams of an unknown monoprotic acid into a 250 ml volumetric flask and dilutes it to the mark with distilled water. He then titrates this solution with 0.160 molar sodium hydroxide solution. When the titration reaches the equivalence point, the chemist finds he has added 11.0 ml of NaOH solution. Calculate the molar mass of the unknown acid. So in the problem, we are given an unknown acid, unknown monoprotic acid, and we can represent that as HA. And then in the problem, the unknown monoprotic acid is titrated with NaOH. So HA plus NaOH. So your acid plus your base. Remember the format. When an acid reacts with a base, it always, always form salt and water. So the salt is... NaA plus water is H2O. So as you can see, this reaction is already balanced. So according to the balanced reaction, one mole of the acid reacts with one mole of the base, which makes sense because the acid is monoprotic acid. Okay, so let's set that aside first. We will use this balance equation later on. Now let's focus on the numbers. So in this problem, it says here that when the titration reaches the equivalence point, the chemist finds he has added 11 ml of NaOH solution. So we start with 11.0 ml of NaOH solution. First thing we need to do is to convert ml into liters. So we will use dimensional analysis. So we know that for every one liter, there are a thousand ml. Okay, so the mLs would cancel out. Now we have liters of NaOH. And according to the problem, the molarity of NaOH is 0 0.160 molar. And what do we know about molar? When we say molar, that's moles per liter or moles per one liter. Therefore, when you say 0 0.160 molar, that's just the same as saying that there are 0 0.160 moles per 1 liter. Okay, and we will use that in our calculation. So for every 1 liter of the NaOH solution, there are 0 0.160 moles of NaOH. So the liters of NaOH would cancel out. Now we have moles of NaOH. And this is where the balanced reaction will apply. So as you can see from the balanced reaction, as we have said a while ago, one mole of the acid reacts with one mole of the base. So we can put that in our calculation. One mole of the acid reacts with one mole of NaOH, the base. So the moles of NaOH would cancel out, and this will give us the moles of the acid. Now I want you to grab your calculator and let's calculate the moles of acid. So that's 11 times 
1 divided by 1,000 times 0 0.160 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 1. And that is approximately equal to 0 0.00. 176 moles of the acid. Now that we have the moles of the acid, we can now solve the molar mass of the unknown. Remember how do we calculate molar mass? Molar mass is just grams per mole. So in the problem, we are being asked for the molar mass of the acid. So how many grams of acid is given in the problem? We are given 0 0.080 grams according to the question. Divided by how many moles of acid are there? We have solved this a while ago. 0 0.00176 moles. So 0 0.080 divided by 0 0.00176 and that is equal to approximately 45 grams per mole. Or if you want to express your answer in three significant figures, that's 45.5 grams per mole. And this is the answer to the question.